Hey everybody, it's Scott here again to tell you about the 2020 RDGA bag tags. Now some of you may have seen a recent post showing the tags and wondered to yourself, hey, what are those little course tags all about? So here it is. In addition to bringing back the women's tags in 2020, we are introducing separate course specific tags. After purchasing your main RDGA tag, you will also have the option of adding individual course tags for an additional cost. The main RDGA tag plays at any and all courses. So for example, Claudia, Bruno, and Jackie are up at Sierra College for a round and decide they will play for their tags. They use their main RDGA tags for the round. Claudia and Jackie also play against one another for their RDGA women's tags. The next day, Bruno meets up with some other folks at the wedge for a tag round. Both the main RDGA tag and the wedge tags are in play. While Bruno's best round has only netted him an RDGA 11, he plays the wedge the most and is very competitive there. So he's stoked to meet up with friends at the wedge where he is usually in contention for the top 10 wedge tag. Bruno also has lizard and ranch tags and looks forward to those tag rounds where he tries to improve his standing. In past years, Bruno was an RDGA tag holder but played mostly at the wedge. With the release of the new course tags, he felt encouraged to venture out and play some of the other weekly scheduled course rounds. As a result, Bruno now knows more golfers in the area, feels more comfortable at the other courses, and plays more rounds. The tag openers are coming up, so stay tuned for the next video where I'll explain how the kickoff events work with the new tag system.